across now. Oh yeah, how do you decide to feel? Is that okay? Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> so first question is going to be, um, when you're writing, at least as a screenwriter, do you ever intentionally leave spaces in the script for improvisation, or does it just come naturally? You, think, you know what, that was actually better than that. For the movie or for the TV show? For both, I think. I don't know. Season, it's changed a lot over the course of it. I think um, we always wrote a script that we wrote that could stand on its own, hopefully. And then when you get all those guys together, then all those people together in the studio, then they just are funny around each other and they bounce off each other. And it got, But then, like, with COVID, of course, it's very hard to get anyone together. So we had to change the way we did it. Um, but I think we've also gotten better at predicting fun things that they would say when they were just bouncing off each other uh, over the course of 12 years or whatever. So, I don't know, it's changed It's changed over the course of it, but I think we are actually moving back to, report, for the show, recording in the same booth, so we'll, you know, get a little more improv too. So now that you guys have been, you have, like you mentioned, you've been in season for about 12 years. How does it feel? It's a little bit more full, so a little bit more appropriate, a more appropriate facility. It's a one with <laughs> At least in comparison to something like The Simpsons, are you hoping to leave a legacy like that behind now that this is a person you could watch with your kids, whereas that one is more aimed for the adults? We, we did not start thinking that this was going to be a show that parents and kids watched together. It just, did, I, if, if anyone at Fox knew it at the time, they didn't tell us, or if we maybe perhaps should have imagined it, we just failed to do so, um, but it was really interesting to be in early seasons and have parents come up to me, and I think to all of us, and say, I watch with my kids. Uh, and yeah, I think all of us, there was one particular <laughs> uh, guy came up to me and he said, my kid went out on the back porch last night and he screamed in his loudest voice, I'm good at sex, you're bad at sex, I'm good at sex, you're bad at sex. <laughs> and then he stopped, and I didn't know what he, where he was going, and he said, I just wanted you to know. <laughs> oh, no. It was helpful though, because we did um, want that. The more you hear that, and certainly uh, those of us with kids, which is all three of us here, uh, really like watching stuff with our kid. And when you find out that, oh, there's only a limited amount of things in the world that are truly fun for parents and kids to watch together, um, it becomes a real honor to, to be considered one of them um, and, a job, and a job that we wanted to take seriously. Right. And then last one is just going to be, um, and mentioning that you do have kids, are you going to be taking them with you when you go see the movie, possibly in theaters? Yeah. <laughs> they're going to have to come the whole weekend. Pretty much. Yeah, they're not going to have any. They're not going to want to. No. They're not going to enjoy it. But they're going to be there. I've seen it three times this weekend. It's like, no, we're going again. Going again. Yeah. We're going to matinee. I want to see how it plays in Burbank. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I think it's time, but I appreciate it so much. And we're so excited to go see it. Thank you. We'll be taking our kids. Thank you. Thank you.